back to the basics Been a lot of things but I've never been basic Run around basics, came from the basement never One been really good thing about this whole putting your phone down thing Is the amount of free time that you unlock pretty much straight away It's a really good opportunity to start new hobbies Or perhaps reconnect with old ones that you've dropped as you've aged And convinced yourself you're too busy to do them The amount of free time you unlock is probably one of the best things about doing a digital detox That realisation that you have a lot more free time dotted throughout your day than you thought you did Unfortunately, this is also one of the biggest challenges As you can't always fill that free time with activities and interesting things and you will experience boredom. At first, you'll probably try to fill that time with mundane tasks like cleaning or making a cup of coffee, but somewhere between cleaning the house for the third time and making your fourth cup of coffee, you'll realize, shit, I really just don't have anything to do and I've still got an hour left until my next planned activity. And this is where the real challenge begins, being comfortable sitting in extreme boredom. So we're about halfway through the 30 days and I've been thinking a lot about boredom. Specifically, I've realized that there's definitely such thing as having too much free time. In those in-between moments where you don't quite have enough time to do an activity, so let's say you've got three minutes while you're waiting for a taxi, it feels almost instinctive to reach for my phone and try to fill that small amount of time with just some bit of stimulation. And it's become quite scary to see how unable I am to just sit still for a few minutes. I can tell though that this is definitely the point of the whole 30 day detox thing, recalibrating your brain so it does feel comfortable sitting still in those moments, but it doesn't make it any easier. And if I'm honest with myself, sometimes I do just crave watching a YouTube video. Yeah, I do miss YouTube. Okay, so immediate challenge number two. Realizing that there are a bunch of apps on your phone that you are completely reliant on for day-to-day -day tasks. I'm talking mobile banking, Google search, Google maps, that kind of thing. Now for a lot of you out there, myself included, this is probably one of the biggest reasons why you're reluctant to put your phone away for 30 days. You believe there are a bunch of activities which you just need your mobile phone for. And I've learned that is true. There are a bunch of activities that you just need your mobile phone for. However, you also realize that there are a whole bunch of activities that you thought you needed your phone for that there are alternative ways of completing. For example, I use Google Maps all the time. But during the 30 days, I'd make a habit of planning my route before leaving the house. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I did get lost, but that's okay. Now this challenge of being dependent on certain apps remains annoying throughout the entire 30 days. I'm not gonna lie to you. However, if you can, you should try and stick to it because there is a lot of benefit to be gained. Rewiring your brain to understand what apps are truly essential, I mean really that you actually need, is really beneficial. Train your brain to not rely on your mobile phone to do absolutely everything. There, that's what I'm trying to say. So if you manage to last a few weeks without your phone, one of the last rewards for not cheating on your detox is this kind of sense of presence and increased stillness maybe in your mind. I know it sounds a little bit out there, but let me explain. So around the 20 day mark, it starts to feel normal to be without your phone. When it gets to the end of the day, and you just wanna chill out a little bit, switch off, it no longer feels like the default option to just reach for your phone. I've also noticed that those kind of little anxious ticks we get throughout the day to check for notifications starts to fade away. I no longer feel like it's necessary for me to be available at all times. I think it's okay if it takes a few hours for me to respond to a message. I reckon all of this stillness presence thing is in part a result of my brain not feeling it needs to be so highly stimulated all the time. And it's crazy because the lifting of this kind of digital fog has improved so many other aspects. For example, habits. I've been trying to build the habit of reading and going to the gym for ages actually. And now those activities have become like the highlights of my day. So it's really easy to keep them up. I think I've read like four books in the last three weeks, which for me is a really big deal. And it's not even just those solo activities that I've started feeling better. I've noticed being around people feels a lot nicer. I'm able to be a lot more present, to listen more, to communicate better. I could go on about all the benefits I feel like I've gained over the last 30 days. I'm more patient. I've got an improved appreciation for just sitting in a cafe and just drinking a good coffee. Walks in nature without my headphones have become literally top tier. But as with all benefits though, it does come with its challenges.
you begin to notice the amount of people who are just glued to their phone. I mean, constantly looking down at some sort of device. And it kind of feels a bit surreal at first, but after a while, it starts to become quite isolating and almost frustrating sometimes. Like, you can be in the company of someone and you can almost sense the distraction from them. Yeah, and I think that feeling kind of sucks a little bit, but this feeling of isolation and frustration is probably a little bit out of scope for this video, but I can say that this detox has definitely changed the way I think personally and will probably have an impact on the direction of this channel moving forward. As I'm sure you do, I enjoy the newest technology. I like having the shiniest phone, the best laptop, etc., etc. But I think moving forward, I'm gonna be making videos about engaging with all this fancy new technology with a bit of balance, not letting it consume every single thing that you do throughout a day. And if that sounds interesting to you, do make sure you drop a subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.